So, as some of you may already know, I have been very slowly making my way through the history of every Sixth Ranger character from each season of the Power Rangers show. Now we are all the way up to Power Rangers RPM. Now before we actually get into the history of these characters, there's something that I want to explain. Now, no matter how many Rangers there are on an individual team, some teams have five Rangers, some teams have four, some teams even have three. The sixth Ranger, the sixth member, is referred to sometimes as the sixth Ranger. But what happens when there's a team of three, they get the additional Ranger, of course, that's the fourth Ranger. It's still referred to as the sixth Ranger. So what I'm trying to tell you is essentially, the special Ranger on any given team is always referred to as the sixth Ranger. It doesn't actually matter if they're the seventh one, or the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, you get my point. Some people have been commenting on some of my videos saying this character isn't a sixth ranger. When it is. It's the special ranger, so it's the sixth ranger. Personally, I think this is really cool. It all obviously stems from the fact that Tommy Oliver, when he first joined the Power Rangers as the Green Ranger, was the sixth member, making him the sixth ranger. The special ranger. And this tradition continued on from there, no matter how many members were on the team. I feel like I had to get that covered and clarified before we moved on. Now, like I said at the start, we're now on to Power Rangers RPM, which means we're on to a very special season. This season has two 6th Rangers, or a 6th and 7th Ranger, if you will. They are twins, Jem and Gemma. But there's another reason that this season is special. Gemma is actually the first female character to be a 6th Ranger. I can't believe it took this many seasons to actually do that. But anyway, this is a fun one, so without continuing my blabbering, let's get into it. Hey guys, Jake here, aka the 6th Ranger. Now, before I get into the history of Gem and Gemma, the RPM 6th Rangers, there's something I want to talk about, again. And that is basically just a quick thank you and explanation. Now, of course, I did take a short break and uploaded far less content than I regularly would. I did explain this briefly in another video where I talked about the fact I've just had a, uh, a child, my first, my first kid, so obviously I took a break for that. But I've been uploading a little less... Uh, in general, to be honest, and a few people have said to me, well, you've uploaded on other channels, and yes, I have, but I have a team of editors. Those editors work on the Batcave, Federation Outpost, and a little bit on the new horror channel, Dead Skid. Subscribe if you haven't already. But the Sixth Ranger is just me. I, I kind of want to just take sole ownership of it and edit the videos myself, because last time we brought an editor in, some mistakes were made, and I just don't want to make mistakes on this channel. You know, I really love it. I love the Ranger Nation. Obviously, I love the Power Rangers content and the Power Rangers world and the fandom, so I just want to keep this to myself and not upload subpar content. Hopefully, you guys appreciate that. I'll have to point out as well that my few most recent uploads, I think the last three, including the Master Morpher giveaway one, which in that giveaway, part of the terms were to like and subscribe and comment, I've actually been losing subscribers. Now, whenever this happens as a creator, it's hard not to take it to heart. I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong. Uh, the ki kind of content I'm uploading hasn't really changed. I'm still doing history of Power Rangers videos and stuff. I guess maybe I've been doing less Mighty Morphin stuff recently because I've covered the majority of it. I don't know what it is, but either way, I'm just here to tell you that just because there's been less regular uploads, I'm not going anywhere. The Sixth Ranger channel is definitely a priority of mine and I will be continuing to upload Power Rangers content for you guys moving forward. I'm probably more likely to be showing my face more like this as well, make it a little bit more personal so you guys can get to know me a little better. Hopefully you, uh, you like that decision. So I'll shut up now, on to the video. Jem was one of the exceptional individuals held captain within the confines of Alphabet Soup, which if you don't know is the organization which is essentially the antagonist in the RPM series. He was kept captive alongside his sister, Gemma. They shared an unusual manner of speaking, often combining their sentences with an infectious enthusiasm. Despite knowing that Dr. K, a solitary figure within the facility, had little affection for them, they made an earnest effort to extend their friendship to her. This even included the thoughtful gesture of presenting her with a birthday gift. Jem and his sister served as the original test subjects for the prototype Ranger Gear, an integral component of Project Ranger. However, as the story unfolded, Dr. K made a startling revelation. Jem and Gemma had been manipulated into remaining within the Alphabet Soup facility under false pretenses. Determined to rescue them from their confinement, Dr. K embarked on a mission to rescue their freedom. Little did she know that her actions would lead to dire consequences. When the malevolent force known as Vengex breached the confines of Alphabet Soup, spreading its malevolence into the world, Jem and Gemma lent their aid to Dr. K. They played a pivotal role in helping her escape the facility, even as those who posed as her caretakers turned against her. 
In their final appearance, Gem and Gemma were seen racing to recover the classified gold and silver series biosuits, critical assets that held the potential to combat the Vengex threat. Their valiant efforts were met with a collapsing section of alphabet soup, seemingly consuming them in the process. At this point, the fate of Gem and Gemma seemed uncertain, as their ultimate fate seemed shrouded in mystery as the facility of alphabet soup crumbled around them. But soon, the enigmatic gold and silver rangers would make a dramatic entrance, twice swooping in to rescue the core rangers from the clutches of Vengek's formidable new form. Following these heroic interventions, they all made their way back to the secure confines of Corinth. It was here, within the city's protective walls, that the true identities of the mysterious rangers were confirmed. Of course, none other than Gem and Gemma. This revelation sparked a heartfelt reunion with a visibly moved and teary-eyed Dr. K. Before reconnecting with Dr. K and becoming acquainted with the rest of the Ranger team, Gem and Gemma had ventured into the desolate wastelands on an offensive campaign against Vengex. Their prolonged time in the harsh terrain had shaped their approach, adopting a shoot-first, ask-questions-later strategy. This approach deeply unsettled the more cautious Colonel Truman and led them to earn in the moniker the Boom Twins from their fellow Rangers. Their tendency to act on instinct and forego detailed planning was evident, but their combat skills more than compensated for it. The inseparable twins rarely strayed from each other's side, often appearing to share a single train of thought. They had a habit of finishing each other's sentences, although there were instances where they expressed individual thoughts. During their time on the run, Gem and Gemma found themselves laboring in a factory responsible for constructing grinders. It was here that they crossed paths with a blind girl later revealed to be Dylan's sister. Following the conclusion of the war, Gem and Gemma enlisted in Eagle Squadron, now under the leadership of Scott. Their postings seemed tailor-made for them, given their extensive experience with their aircraft zords. Their enthusiasm for the new assignment was palpable, expressing excitement about their role, which they humorously summed up as getting to blow things up and getting paid for it. Though both Gem and Gemma often displayed a somewhat childlike and straightforward demeanor, it was a deceptive facade. In truth, both siblings possessed an exceptionally high IQ, potentially on par with the brilliant Dr. K enabling them to grasp concepts like quantum mechanics with ease. Over time, as they integrated further with their fellow rangers, they developed a closer bond with the team, transcending their initial focus on each other. They learned to exercise restraint, choosing not to resort to explosive solutions unless absolutely necessary. However, even as they matured and evolved within the team, Jem retained his light-hearted and exuberant nature, remaining an easily excited and cheerful member of the team. And that's pretty much it guys, I know RPM wasn't a massively popular season, but it certainly had some cool elements to it and overall I enjoyed it. Either way, whatever you think of this season, it's great to be making our way through each and every 6th Ranger character. We're slowly getting there, we're well over halfway now, I think. I haven't counted, but we are getting there. That's it for me today my friends, as always please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel, it really does go a long way. Hope you have a great day, may the power protect you, and I'll see you next time on the 6th Ranger.